So this is a pawpaw tree. This is the species Asimina triloba. This is late summer right now, so we're in pawpaw fruit season. So this pawpaw is starting to uh, produce fruits that are just about ripe here. This is a pretty small one. Uh, looks like kind of a green golf ball. We're in a stand of pawpaw trees right now. So these trees are usually understory trees. So they're not big towering things that make up the forest canopy. So we're standing down here with some actually pretty large pawpaws behind me, but they're underneath. They're just making a second lower canopy underneath these bigger trees. You can also notice the river here. Uh, pawpaw trees love water. So a good place to find them is in a floodplain forest or along a river like this um, that has a bit of, of forest right up to the edge. This spot here is very productive. There's a lot of fruits. So I can actually smell the pawpaw fruits all around me. There's a very pungent kind of tropical ripe banana smell that's just permeating the air. So you can actually tell when you're in one of these pawpaw hot spots. So pawpaws have the largest edible fruit in North America and it's not the prettiest thing. It has all these spots on it when it's ripe. They're often kind of misshapen. So pawpaw fruits will get eaten by people quite a bit. As for wildlife, they get eaten by things like squirrels, uh, possums, raccoons, but a lot of the fruits will fall and rot. You can see this one on the ground here. You can see some insects swarming around it, and you can see those big black seeds sticking out. Where, oh, where is dear little Nellie? Where, oh, where is dear little Nellie? Where, oh, where is dear little Nellie? Way down yonder in the pop-up patch. Come on, boys, let's go find her. Come on, boys, let's go find her. Come on, boys. Let's go find her way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your pocket. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your pocket. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your pocket. Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch.